Hello once again YouTube <laughs> and welcome back to the domain. Today, it's it look it's celebration time. Do you know why? Because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six Halo Infinite blind bags. And that is a real cause for celebration. These were sent to me by one of my incredible Patreons. Thank you so much. This is going to be a blind bag opening of six of these. I've got more of them and I'm gonna do a haul pretty soon. And then also a full set unpackaging. But I thought, I just can't wait. I have to get some of them open. And they are random codes. So I could essentially get six of the same one. I don't think I will, but I mean, you never know. And we'll start by opening, there's one here. This one has a piece of tape over it because I literally, I got this in the mail. I tore one open because I just couldn't wait. And then immediately after tearing it open, I was like, I could probably just film a video right now. So here I am filming a video. Uh, it's the Marine. I did know that that one was a Marine. The Marines have got the real special treatment in this year's line of Mega Constructs. They've got the most attention and you know, I, it wasn't like necessary. The Marines were still amazing in my eyes, but you know, I will never say no to a brand new style Marine. I do not like that they are taller than Spartans, but you know, I'm not a toy designer, so I wouldn't know these things, but you should definitely just, well, it's it's tricky, I guess, because if you, if you update the Marine, no one really cares. If you make the Spartan taller, then you do run the risk of making all of the other Spartans that someone has in their collection a little redundant, which is not ideal. Originally, I thought this scope was completely pointless, but after opening the new Spartan armor pack, I realize now that there are so many different scopes that it is cool that you can switch them out. There is the Marine. It also comes with another little piece of plastic. Not very good that we've got so much plastic. I really try and ignore the fact that I'm sure blind bags are not recyclable. I put them in the recycling bin, but like it's, it's not a good sustainable hobby. But there we go. I mean, at least the plastic lasts forever. I mean, these things do not deteriorate unless you put them in direct sunlight. Don't do that. If you leave them on your windowsill, you may be disappointed over time. All right, we've got another one here. This is really, cause like that one, I already knew what it was, but now, now we're in the really exciting territory, baby. I have no idea what this is. Dump it out in three, two, one. Whoa, hey, look at that. Okay, we're going straight for the Pelican Pilot. I have not seen this Pelican Pilot yet. So this is very exciting. Okay, there he is. There's Mr. Brohammer. He's here to save the chief floating through space. And the camera always really struggles picking up on translucent, transparent objects. It really doesn't seem to like it. There's his helmet. I mean, sure, that's a decent helmet. Okay, I feel like, oh, whoa, his arm. Oh no, I, okay, good. I was gonna say, I think I've only got one of these. I really hope his arm's not broken. Um, no, I mean, it's not broken, but it's, it's definitely some like slightly melted plastic. That was definitely not meant to happen. But, you know, it's not broken, so I'm fine. And this uh, bro hammer also comes with this really interesting belt piece, which is really cool. It's like a proper tactical sort of loadout belt. I would imagine that an engineer in particular would wear this, so it definitely fits him. People love the chase figures, and, you know, I've got no issues with the chase figures. But why would you make a translucent pelican pilot? I mean, maybe people are saying that it's a, a hologram, and like, yes, maybe. There is the hologram pelican pilot in the game. You might be able to like call him up on a tack pad and talk to him when you're not there. But I think it's a very strange figure to make into a translucent chase figure. Uh, the people of Mega Blocks, they will remember the days where there were secret rares in Mega Constructs, Mega Blocks. You could get a secret figure that this wasn't even on the main packaging. You would just find it and just be completely dumbstruck by what it was. So, you know, they were the glory days. That's two of them. All right. The manual actually looks really pretty for this one. I think that's a very appealing looking picture. I'm really hoping that the pelican is in these six blind bags. I promise I did just pull them straight at random. I don't know if there's any duplicates. Three, two, one, money shot. <laughs> I literally, I knew that would happen. I knew that the second I said, that there weren't any duplicates, a second Marine would fall out. I don't know why, but that just like, I got a feeling while I was talking just then that a second Marine was about to come out. It definitely looks like these were coded when I say that and then immediately there is one. Pop that on there, not bad. 
I also think it wouldn't be a bad idea in the future for Mega Constructs to make different skin toned marines that come in the blind bags and like don't even advertise it. Have it that every time you buy a blind bag you might get a different skin tone. It would be a very easy thing to do, especially the fact that you're just changing the skin tone of the face because he's wearing gloves. So that wouldn't be a difficult thing to do. But I do like a bit of diversity in my figures. There we go. <laughs> Not much diversity there considering it's three humans, but hopefully we're going to get at least some Covenant. I say that and now I'll immediately pull a Covenant and you guys will be like, Simon, you clearly knew what there was in those bags. All right, number four is da da da. Okay, <laughs> that goes against what I just said. You guys are sure to have heard that I have been singing the Gungnir's praises. I love the Gungnir that comes in the Spartan armor pack. The Halo Heroes Gungnir, I think, is probably one of the greatest figures ever made. It might be the nicest, most detailed Mega Constructs figure ever made. Like, let that sink in. Just think about that for a second. Look at these colors. I mean, Mega Constructs, they've really come a long way. I would like to make a video and let me know if this is the kind of video you would like to see. Like a history of sort of like Mega Constructs progress, but even like, so, cause you know, when they had Mega Blocks and when they had the old articulation, they had, you know, multiple different paint applications. And then when they went to new articulation, they were just doing like whitewash single color figures and nobody liked it. But I was on the forefront at the time of saying, you know, they've just spent a lot of money making all these new molds, like give them some time before they can introduce all the wide variety of colors. And lo and behold, years later, they are like, look at all the different colors there. The Gungnir, especially with the little eyepiece, is really opportunistic to like make the color of the armor pop, and it definitely does. And oh, look at that, they actually come with different colored base plates. That's very interesting. Zoom out, we've got another one. Oh, oh. Oh, I might save that to last. Ha ha ha. Next one, number five, the shoulder just fell out. I think I know what this is. It's the Elite. Yes, the Elite. I was really looking forward to this Elite. Really look, I mean, look at this. What a beautiful color. And yeah, guys, it feels like I've actually, it's been a while since I made one of these videos. I was doing a video a day, and then the last four days, I've only done a video every two days because I just started a new job on Monday. So I'm kind of taking it easy. And it was also my birthday weekend, so I was having a little bit of me time. But now I think I'm gonna get straight back onto it. I just received an epic haul, which these blind bags are part of, and you'll be seeing the full haul very soon. As, as, uh, whenever my girlfriend can have some time off work, because she's, she's the one that films me. The new haul is epic. It includes the builder's box, it includes another ring, I mean, I am spoiled. And guys, I don't know if you've seen, but the domain is popping right now. Just about two weeks ago, I made my 25K video, and I'm gonna be on 26K probably by tomorrow, which is just bonkers, absolutely bonkers. But um, I love it, and I welcome everybody with open arms, anybody new to the channel, welcome. How are you doing today? Whoa, wait, wait a sec, look at this sword. Whoa. It's got like a like a glass effect to it. I've never seen that before. Oh, look at oh, look at all that glory. Can you feel infinite powering through your veins? I'll show you just how excited I am about this last blind bag. Oh my goodness. Let's chop it open. Three, two, one. Pelican, baby. Oh yes, a little bit of preparation never hurt anyone. I have been so impressed by the micro ships that Mega Constructs have been making recently. I mean, we got the Pelican in this one and I believe we also have it in the builder's box as well. I think they're slightly different. I mean, look at that, that's gorgeous. It's such a tiny little baby Pelican. Look at how these things are sticking to me. <laughs> Why did I think this was a good idea? It is just such a cool concept to be able to build like this tiny little thing. And it represents something out of a game that I've seen like a billion times. Look at that pelican, that looks amazing. I just absolutely love it. Ah, right, let's make two of these things. I think we have to double down. Ah yes, they're the engines at the back. And I think you have to rotate them like this. That's gotta be my favorite micro ship so far. These two, I mean, these two are great, really cool, but like, look at this little pelican. <laughs> Ah, that's so funny. Pop that on and we've got a pelican flying a little higher than the other two. Really nice. I love that. What a fantastic build. So today, guys, we got a pelican, the gummy bro hammer, two Halo Infinite Marines, the elite mercenary, and 
the Spartan Gungnir. What do you think of that haul? Do you think that's a good one? Would you have wished for any different figures? I mean, what's the rarity on these bad boys? I guess I got this, the two rares and the ultra rare, so I mean, in general, that's a really good pull. I would not have included two AC figures in an eight-figure set, but more on that when I have a review of this set eventually. Thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with the domain. Thank you so much for all the support. We are just exploding with subscribers. I welcome all my new recruits. I hope you're having an amazing time here. We got Discord, we got Facebook, we got Instagram and Twitter, we got all the things. I'll see you next video. The elite mercenary is slashing his sword and signing out. What, 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 what?